the finality of Saturday, you know, right, you know, looming is something that um, that's coming to the mindset of a lot of these guys. And again, uh, I'll use Chris as an example, or or Nick Jenkins. I mean, for our seniors or fifth-year seniors, this is it. You know, th this is it, and everything they do is going to be the last that they do. The last practice we had at Charlottesville, some of the guys got carried off the field because it was the last practice. You know, so, you know, and, and you, I want to make, uh, you know, you want, you want to enjoy your college experience, you know, because a lot of these guys will be, will be in your, your wedding. You know, they'll, they'll be your best man or, or you know, they'll, they're, they're that, that close. And so this is another opportunity, you know, with a game and after the game and the experiences that um, they'll always be able to share. So. The finality of it is coming to a head here and, and uh, with Saturday, you know, a couple days away. Nick was brought in as, in a 3-4 defense as a two-gap nose tackle and has done a great job the last two years making the transition to being, you know, put on the, playing a shaded technique on the edge. And uh, along the way, what you always hope for is that uh, they become mature. They make good decisions. They, they do things that um, the four years or five years of his existence that um, you know, that you look back and you say, "Man, I'm really proud of the guy." I, recru I started out recruiting him and been in his home, and you know, and all that. So it is nice to see um, a guy graduate, become a captain, two-year captain. I mean, uh, it's just one of those things that uh, you really appreciate what he's brought to the program. And like Chris, you know, being a fifth-year guy, he was one of the redshirt freshmen that um, that went to uh, you know went to, Orlando, uh, to to the Gator Bowl with us and. Um, Although didn't know about that experience because he wasn't playing, but now values the experience that he's going through now because he is playing and he, and he hope, hopefully leads a legacy for some of these younger guys to follow.